everybody, how's it going? This is Darren with GuitarControl.com bringing you this video lesson. And today I want to teach you how to play a really cool riff, uh, in my opinion. Uh, this is a classic. Uh, it's uh, Hair of the Dog from Nazareth. So it's a, <clears throat> it's, a, it's a really cool, you know, like iconic riff, and it's just got kind of this uh, blues kind of a thing behind it and stuff that, as you learn, you can see it's like a very similar to like a lot of blues bass lines and stuff. So be sure to click on the link in the description for the tabs, and let's get close up and take a look. All right, so the first thing uh, starts off, you've got the first uh, four bars, just rest, you know, you got to, you know, play your cowbell if you got it. And then it goes into this uh, main riff that's kind of repeated throughout. It's in the intro, it's in the verse. So we start with that, we just got our, our low E open. And then again, and then to the third fret, and then the fourth fret. Then you're going to take your first finger and just bar it across the second fret of the A and the D string. So that's the first measure. Now, when you play that, you don't want. You don't want to hear everything ringing over each other a lot. You want to try to, you know. So that last, the second fret there on the D string, that's the last note of uh, that. Uh, well, technically it'd be the fifth measure, but the first measure that you're actually playing. So that last note is on the end of four. And then it's tied to a half note on the next measure, so you let that ring out for uh, uh, the and four plus the first two beats of the next measure. Then just keep your finger there on the second fret of the D string, and with your pinky you're going to reach up to the uh, um, fifth fret of the D string, and you're going to pick that, and you're going to put just a very slight bend on it. And then back to that uh, second fret. Now you're going to take your pinky and you're going to go to the fifth fret of the A string and then back to the second fret of the B string. So that's that main, like I said, that's the main riff and it's just two measures long. So we got. So that's the um, that's the whole intro. So you got those first four measures that you just you rest, and then you have that riff, which is two measures long, and you play it twice, and then that leads us into the verse. Right. So for the verse, it just starts off the same way, that same riff we were doing on the intro, and it repeats it a total of four times. <laughs> So now it does just like um, you know a one four or five progression would do. We're gonna go here. That E is the one. We're gonna go to the A. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play that same riff, but we're just gonna move it up. So now instead of being uh, being based on the low E, A, and D string, it's gonna be based on the A, D, and G string. So same frets, but now it's the open A string. <laughs> third fret to the fourth fret, then to the second fret of the D string, and then the second fret of the G string. And then, again, just like on the other one, now our uh, fourth finger, pinky ear, is going to go up to the fifth fret of the G string. Slight bend, back to the second fret of the G string, then to the fifth fret of the D string, and back to the second fret of the G string. So, 
uh, like I said, the, the main original riff is it's you play out a total of four times, and then we're going to go to that. So I'm going to play just this would be like the fourth time on the first one going into that part. So on you're looking on your on your transcription, this is the first four measures uh, of the verse. But again, I'm not the first two measures repeated four times, but just for this, I'm just going to do it once. So you get the. <laughs> Then going on to uh, the fifth measure, which on your transcription is actually measure 11, because uh, you know, the whole song's together. We repeat part of that, but now it's a little bit different. So now we've got... Then we just do an A5. So... So instead of just hitting that uh, second fret on the G string, we're actually going to hit an A5 chord. So, like I said before, I kind of barred my finger as I went across here. I rolled it up. So what I'm going to do is when I hit the D string here as I roll up, I'm just going to hit that whole A5. So the A string is open and the second fret of the D string and second fret of the G string. Whoops. And then there's a rest on the, the downbeat of one of the next measure. And then on the and of one, you hit that A5 again. Then you have a rest on the down of two and goes back into the... And this time it's going to walk down. So instead of going back to the second fret of the G string, we're actually going to go to the second fret of the B string. So. so those two measures together, so this is measure 11 and 12. And then uh, that's the, in, the entire verse. So I'll play the whole verse uh, together, but again, I'm not going to do all the repeats on the first part. So this will be like the, on the first two measures, it's repeated four times. This is just like the fourth time I'm playing it. And then from there, that goes into the little interlude section. So the little, <coughs> the little interlude section is just like the that main riff again. <laughs> leads us into the chorus. All right, so for the chorus, we start off, got an E5 power chord, so I'm here on the seventh fret of the A string with my first finger, and then the ninth fret of the D and G strings with my third finger. And we, pl we play this as a quarter note on the, the downbeat of one, and then we rest on beats two and three. So you've got one, two, three, and then on the downbeat of four, which is a quarter note, we're going to come down here and do G5. So now my first, it's the same shape, but now we're going to do it down here on the third fret and on the, the low E, A, and D strings. So my first finger's on the third fret of the low E, my third finger's on the fifth fret of the A, and my fourth finger is on the fifth fret of the D string. And that is... Uh, on the downbeat of four. And we're gonna strum that and then move it up a whole step for the downbeat of one on the next measure. So we just move it from being on the third and fifth frets here, we just move this shape straight up so we're on the fifth and seventh frets. Uh, and that's the downbeat of one and then we rest for the next three uh, beats. So that's the first two measures. So you got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then on measure three, we come back up to this E5 again, quarter note again, one, and rest on two, three, and four. So one, two, three, four. <clears throat> and then on the fourth measure, we rest on the downbeat of one, and on the end of one, we hit, we 
we move this E5 shape down a whole step to D5. So now my first finger's on the fifth fret of the A string, third finger's on the uh, seventh fret of the D string, and fourth finger's on the seventh fret of the G string. So we got one and two and three, and then rest on four. So that's the four measures that make up the first half of the chorus. And that's repeated. Uh, uh, it's played twice. So you, you know, so it's, you play those four measures twice. So we've got So like I said, that's the first half, and then we just go right back into that main riff again. So the... Uh, now, from that point on the original song, uh, I, I can't remember, it, it probably goes back into another verse or whatever, but that's those are the like the main parts. So you got the, the intro, the verse and the chorus, and then that just leaves this last part, which is the uh, um, the little instrumental part. Uh, now, when they're doing this, they're like doing it like with a talk box or something like that, and I don't have one of those, so <laughs> we'll just be doing it um, without it. So this, uh, you're going to go to the second fret of the D string with your first finger, and this first measure is just eighth notes. So the downbeat of one, and then the and of one is just the low E open. So it's one and, and then you're going to do the same thing for the whole measure. So one and two and three and four and. And then we have this little uh, walking part again here. So um, the first note is here, the second fret of the D string. Then we go to the fifth fret of the A string with your fourth finger, to the second fret of the A string with your first finger, and then we go to the fifth fret of the low E with your fourth finger, to the third fret of the low E with your second finger, and then back to the fifth fret, and then the D string open. So. That's all eighth notes except that last open uh, D string at the end of that second measure uh, is a quarter note. So those first two measures, and then by the way, this is also the first two measures and the third and fourth measures are the same. And then it's repeated four times. So basically you're going to play that riff eight times. <laughs> repeats like that is a total of eight times. All right, so there you have it. That's all the parts to um, Hair the Dog by Nazareth. So if you you learn these parts and listen to the song, it's easy to identify which ones uh, are which, you know, so you can put it all together, you know, intro, uh, you know, verse, chorus, you know, all the different parts like that. You need to put it together yourself. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that and you got something out of it. If you like the lesson, uh, please give me a thumbs up. And leave a comment down below if you have any questions uh, about this or other guitar-related things, comments, uh, I'd like to hear them. If you have not already done so, please hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, so that way you don't miss out any of the content that we upload throughout the week. Well, that is all I have for you today. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.